Hello and welcome back to the Gallivant and Gingers. Today we're taking a road trip to Soddy Daisy, Tennessee. It ain't frozen because I know what the sun's going to be coming up over here since it's in between. I know you're not going down there. I know I want to, but I know you're not going to let me because it's locked. It's freezing outside. It's 25 degrees according to the car. Moving, so that's going to feel like 15. There's a beautiful sunrise across the lake while driving across Chickamauga Dam, as you saw. I apologize for the dirty windows, but as you heard, my driver wouldn't unlock the windows so I could get a clearer view. He acts like 25 degrees outside is cold or something. <laughs> we are now in the Soddy Daisy city limits. This area housed the first courthouse and was the first county seat for Hamilton County. It wasn't always known as Soddy Daisy though. It was two separate cities at one time. The city Soddy Daisy was formed in 1969 when the cities of Soddy to the north and Daisy to the south merged to form Soddy Daisy. In 2019 it was estimated that 13,619 people lived here. Our first stop is Veterans Park, and besides the memorials, it has a walking track, a pavilion with picnic tables, a gazebo, two lighted ball fields with snack bars and restrooms. This is a Huey helicopter and it was dedicated on June 30th, 2001 to honor all war vets. This is the Wall of Honor. There's names on both sides of these walls and a special ceremony is held on the first Saturday of May each year for the addition of new names to the wall. This is an armored personnel carrier and it was dedicated in March of 2015. You can see some remnants of snow on the ground. We haven't gotten any snow on our side of the river.
This is a monument of the Twin Towers and it's dedicated to those who lost their lives on 9-11. World War I, World War II, Korean, and Vietnam War Memorials were dedicated on July 3, 1994. I hope you enjoyed the tour of Veterans Park. As we were leaving Veterans Park, there was a sign for a dog park on the other side, so that might be useful for those of you with dogs like us. Soddy Daisy has four parks. The State Park is the most northern park in Soddy Daisy. Soddy Lake and a public fishing pier are located on Dayton Pike as well. Soddy Daisy has a few locally owned restaurants and a few chains. There's shopping and everything you need right here in this town. But if you are looking for a mall or more things to do, Hickson's only a few miles away and Chattanooga is about 15 minutes away. Sequoia Nuclear Power Plant is also located here and there's plenty of hiking trails, waterfalls, swimming holes, and outdoor spots to explore around this area. Now we're at Post Tavern and I'm going to read the history of Post Tavern as I walk around. Haston Poe was a veteran of the War of 1812 and he came to this area to claim his 600 acre land grant. He built an inn and a tavern. In 1818, he and others met at Poe's Tavern and drew up a petition to the state of Tennessee to establish a new county from land ceded from the Cherokee Indian Nation. The state granted their petition and Hamilton County was established in 1819. It was decided that Poe's Tavern would be the county seat and courthouse. In 1838, when the Cherokees were forced from their homes, two groups of over a thousand each camped at Poe Springs for several days on their way to Oklahoma. By 1840, Haston Poe was a very wealthy planter. In addition to running the tavern, he operated a toll road across the mountain between Hamilton and Sequatchie County. He was the largest slave owner in Hamilton County and he farmed thousands of acres in the valley from Falling Water to north of Daisy. Poe took the side of the South during the Civil War. In 1863, Union troops under the command of General Sheridan, they shot up Poe's Tavern and they took it for the remainder of the war. The tavern was used as a hospital after the battles of Chattanooga and Chickamauga and Colonel Wilder used the tavern as his headquarters until the war was over. The Poe family was left destitute after the war and the original log house was torn down in 1915 and a frame house was built on the original seals of the house. From 2011 to 2012, the Chattanooga Woodworking Academy, under the direction of Bill Carney, rebuilt Poe's Tavern by hand following architectural details typical of the period using local timbers and traditional hand tools. The tavern was dedicated on September 1, 2012. So, Hamilton County's first courthouse was a tavern. I learned a lot of things I never knew visiting this little tavern. And I think it's great that they rebuilt this by hand like they would have back then. This is not the original site of Post Tavern. It's actually a few blocks down the road. Every November, they have Pioneer Days here. Well, this concludes our tour of Saudi Daisy. I hope you enjoyed it. We appreciate you stopping by and watching. Don't forget to join us next Thursday as we continue recording history one road trip at a time.